Hey guys, uh, Spike up here. We're going to be doing a game review of Nadio and Ubisoft's Trackmania Turbo, a game I ran across the demo today in the Steam store, and it's not too old. It's, I think back in March. It goes for $39.99. We'll talk about that price afterwards and whether or not I think it's worth it. Um, let's get on with the show here. This is a Steam Ubisoft game, so you get it in the Ubisoft uh, app or in Steam, and there you go. And we'll also be doing Tom Clancy's Division, which is on free this weekend, so I decided to try that out as well. Not a huge fan of The Division, or I have played it before, and uh, while, uh, Ghost, uh, uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands, is that what it is? Yeah, is, is up on this weekend as well, so we'll see. Anyway, we'll be running Trackmania today. At uh, 2K, 2560 by 1440, with all settings maxed out. That's uh, an isotropic at uh, 16x on everything. And uh, FXAA was the only, the only analyzing option it gave me. I, I have a feeling the full game probably has better options. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to be using a controller for this. And instead of using my Xbox 360 controller, I'm just using this, using this other controller that I bought for only $19, which is actually, I hate to say it, vastly superior to the Xbox 360 controller, or not 360, Xbox One controller that I use. So I'm very happy with it. Um, anyway, let's get into the game and check it out. Oops, I need to turn off display capture first. There we go. And let's see. This should work. If not, I'm going to throw a fit. And I'll let the, uh, the, uh, I'm going to let the credits, I'm going to let the credit deal roll through so you can see it. Or the, uh, intro. And right now it should be locked at 70 frames per second. That is my V-Sync rate on my overclocked monitor. So right off the bat, I really enjoyed the intro. It, it, it has great music. It has great uh, great scenery. It gives you a feel for what you can expect in the game. You know, high-paced action, a lot of fun, um, interesting physics, all that jazz. So let's go ahead and go forward. We'll insert that coin by pushing A on the controller. Uh, I have the stats up in the upper right hand corner just for those who are interested in in uh, performance right now I'm using RX 480 uh, Strix ROG edition 8 gig uh, overclock uh, the stock clock is 1250 the boost clock is 1310 I have it overclocked to 1445 um, memory is stock at 2000 I have that overclocked to 2135 megahertz and voltage on the core is going to fluctuate between 1 and 1.9 volts, which is kind of high, but it does work. Good VRM on this card. Uh, this is a Direct3D 11 game. Uh, my monitor is at 70 FPS. I just saw a dip there. That was interesting. Um, we are running at 2K maxed out settings. Um, and yes, my uh, my monitor is an Asus MX279, 27 inch via HDMI, and I have that overclocked to 70 hertz. So, 70 seems to give a great realm for the GPU to pick frames out when it's going to have to skip. 
Um, oh yeah, I have the game set to a triple frame buffer right now. Uh, input lag, I tested. There is a test for that. We'll go ahead and show that right here. Then we'll go to settings real quick. Uh, the menu is very, I like it. it's very well laid out. Um, they got the news area on the billboard to the left, which is nice. You can scroll over to that and click on it. Um, track builder, we'll get into that early, uh, later. I, I did the track build earlier. It was fun. We'll build another one. Um, but let's go, oops, that's just automatic, I guess. We'll just go into settings. Again, this is the demo. I did not purchase this game. I just wanted to give it a test. Uh, very basic settings. You can select your ranking zone based on your location. The speed IO meter is a test to see how fast the, uh, or how bad your input lag is. So we'll just test. You basically hit the controller as the uh, A pops up, so. Okay, so we need to try that over again. There were some problems with that. So it's giving me very inaccurate. I'm not sure earlier I had a very accurate, so I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Okay, let's try this again. So, interesting, I don't know, maybe I'm just off. I had a great score earlier, so I'm just going to go with it being okay. So, that's a good way to test. I don't know why it's not working right now, but we'll just go forward. There is a VR experience for this. I don't have a headset, so I'm not going to bother with that. The Garage and Mix allows you to select your music um, and your paintwork for your car. Um, music Mix, you can see they got a lot of great um, labels here. Monster Cat, one of my favorites, um, some songs here, and so you can make your own mix, I guess, and put your own songs in there, it seems. Um, multiplayer, I don't have anyone else to play with here. Campaign, we'll get into. Online racing, it's kind of a bummer, and we'll get into that in a minute. Um, but for the moment, let's go ahead and just go uh, right into campaign so you can see the gameplay. So right off the bat in the demo you get five tracks to test. They're kind of short, but they give you a good feel for the game overall. Um, let's go ahead and go into this here. Controls are very simple. They get more elaborate as the game continues to allow you to do stunts and other things, uh, including music boosts and other cool, cool effects. But right now we're going to go ahead and just launch into this. And I'm going to throttle up now, get some speed going on my tires. And away we go, and you'll see the frame rate stays really consistent at 70 frames. So at 2K, this game looks good, feels pretty good. Good scenery. The physics are a little interesting. The, 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 the car is not very sticky, so it does swing a little bit. It drifts a lot. But that's kind of the point. All right. So we just move right on to the next track. And uh, track loads are very, very quick. Um, uh, very multicultural in the, in the uh, countdowns and such. There's my ghost right there. Oh man, look at me go there.
I was rocking it. There are some kind of annoying voice characters that pop up to, to talk some smack about your gameplay. But, you know, it's not so bad. Alright, so we'll just go to the next track so you can see. Now, interestingly enough, it lets you go off the track and you don't respawn automatically. You have to force it to respawn. So you can kind of drive around off the track. I don't recommend it. It's very difficult to drive off, uh, drive on the off track. I'll show you that a little later. So camera automatically goes into a first person mode when you're in, in situations that call for it, then automatically comes out. And we're gonna go here. Oh, it was really close to my old old record there. No, no, no. Next track, please. This track's got some tricky turns, as I remember. Uh, where you really want to flex that drift. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, man, well, that happens. The physics in this game are kind of fun. Um, they're a little unpolished, but not terrible. I'm having trouble beating myself here, but that's not bad. Uh, again, loads between levels are great. They're short, uh, you know. Again, these tracks are kind of short. This is a three-lapper, I think. This is a game where definitely staying on the inside of the track is going to give you that advantage. Um, Staying on the inside is definitely a help, but the turns are, are really not that easy. I mean, it may look easy, but it really is not. Okay, and so, there we go. Gotta hit this just right. If you hit the edges, you're, you're doomed. When you're in the air, there really is not any control over the pitch of the car, it would seem. You can do view changes, uh, again, right there. I was able to get different camera angles earlier, but, it, oh, there we go. So you can look at yourself, I'm not exactly sure what value that is. Oh, and there you go. Not a great performance, but, you know, you get the general gist, gist of the game. This is a great arcade racer, I think, with a lot of different tracks that, you know, if we look at this list here, there's so many um, series here. Uh, and it looks like there's four tracks. There's a lot of DLC for this game, priced between 6 and $9. We'll look at that in a second. Um, double driver, I think, means two people. I'm not, I'm not sure. Does this mean I race against someone? Let's check it out. Oh. Oh, looks like I need a second person. Yeah, so... Can't do that. I have two controllers. I guess I could try to do it myself, but was not. So that's a dual player, two player mode, it looks like. Um, online racing, a little disappointed. Maybe we can try again. I couldn't connect to any servers, couldn't get anything to work. 
There's like no players. Um, the filters are missing critical filters like players. You know, like they have, you know, rooms that have players. Um, I, I cannot seem to get into any of these. Uh, we'll just try. It'll it'll say it's loading, and then at the very end, it'll say it can't connect. So we'll see the progress bar there at the bottom. Oh, boy, this video is already up to 5.2 gigs, and it's... I don't even know what the recording time is. Can't see. So there's the 98%. Here's where it says, oh, sorry, can't connect. Come on, show it to me, baby. Wow, 50 rounds, that's crazy. Now, I tried earlier to up to a dozen servers. I, I, I could not get into any of them. So what worries me about this is this looks like a lot of fun for multiplayer, for sure. But I, I don't see any of these servers have any players. And that's a little troubling. Now, maybe this is an issue with the demo only. I couldn't imagine this game has no players, and uh, the reviews are mostly positive, so I'm a little stumped as to what's going on here. I really wanted to try the online racing, but unfortunately it's not letting me. Um, so that's kind of a bummer, but I will show you Track Builder, that's kind of crazy. So I built this track earlier, let's make a new track. I'll show you how easy it is. Uh, let's make a nighttime track, that'll be fun, I haven't raced in nighttime yet, so... At first, the track builder looks a little daunting, like it's going to be difficult uh, and time-consuming, but it really isn't. It, it's very automated to um, to make it very, very simple. So let's let's do this. We'll do a round point. It even tells you when it should apply to place a checkpoint. Do a couple turbos. Maybe do a, a ramp up, and we'll go this way here. Go a little straight. Push another checkpoint. We'll do a turbo, turbo, long way, checkpoint, turn it. And it, so this is really helping me do this automatically. I'm not really having to to deal with a whole bunch of physics and placement of this and that. And, you know, we're going to go over the track there. We're going to keep going. We're go turbo, turbo, place a checkpoint, make a curve here, make it a little more difficult. Curve it, curve it. Curve it, curve it. Now it's doing that all automatically. I'm gonna go over the track. Place another turbo. Get a little bit of an opening there. Two, three turbos. Place that, we're gonna turn it. Turbo, 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 turbo. Bring the track back down. And finish it. Now look at that. Now it's going to start lighting the track, building it up, putting the, um, the uh, various items around. Now we can validate it. And uh, again, quickly built. Let's see what, what this track looks like. Now, right away I can say that, oh shit, oh! <laughs> now here we are off the track. And as I mentioned before, you can go off the track, but getting back on the track while you're off, oh wait, oh no. So we're gonna go back, start over. Here we go. Actually, we're gonna restart. So now I know that this is probably problematic and won't work out very well 
if I leave this track. It'll make it very difficult for people. Because... Okay, so I use the brake there. There we go. Woof. Oh, oh! Now, at nighttime, unfortunately, the car looks really dark. The light reflections are really stellar, but it's so much nicer in sunlight. The car looks amazing. Right now, a little too dark, I, I feel. If you could just place more lighting, it would be great. Especially when passing under the lighting, it's not really doing a good job of, of highlighting the car. So the light sources are a little bit off. Uh, by direction and angle, but not not too troubling. It is just a little too dark on the car, I must say. Oh, Jesus, I'm just... <laughs> this is terrible. This is not as easy as it looks, I tell you that right now. Oh shit, and, 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 uh, come on, there we go. Oh, that's a good trick right there, you know, kind of a tricky trick. Um, alright, so we validate the track, and then you can go ahead and, um, save it. It's kind of LOL. <laughs> and then it builds the track, so that was kind of a lower res texture deal, now it's going to build it in a higher res. Um... Then we can test it. We can't play them because then the demo doesn't allow you to. I like how it's 3 frames per second, but my GPU is going at, you know, 100 watts here. It must be helping to build it. All right, so now the build is complete. We can go ahead and quit, or we can test the track. Let's see if it looks a little bit different when we test. You can place where you're going to test. Uh, now the car is much more lit, so you can see I think it's kind of re-rendered everything. Um, boy, that is that is a trick for sure. I mean, not a trick, but that is a devil's curve that I created there. Ah, oh, okay, but you can get back on the track from here. So we're good, okay. So yeah, the lighting is definitely a lot better now that we're, you know, you can see it when you go into light sources, it is reflecting properly. So once you build the track, it, it officially builds it and, and gets the lighting sources done and the rendering ready. So, and that was pretty quick considering this track is pretty big. Well, that's tough. This is tough. Man, I, I built a whopper of a track here. Oh man. I like the fact that this game is very easy and quick to get into. It's not difficult to understand. Uh, again, it's the demo, so I'm, I feel like there's probably some tutorial and other things that are probably in the full game that aren't here. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot to build an end right there. <laughs> So yeah, music boost is kind of awesome. You can instantly boost the music, turn it off.
that's taking pictures right there. So all in all, and graphically, this is, you know, it's fun, it's dynamic, it maintains the frame rate at the V-Sync very, very well. No tearing, no judder. Oh, sinking in the water, how far can I sink? Okay, whew. All right, so now <laughs> we can get out of this test here. All right, and good stuff. So that's in Track Builder. Um, kind of fun, really cool that you can build them and share them and race them. Uh, again, graphically, this game, I mean, it stayed locked at 70, I think, this entire time. Um, that's great. I mean, I could unlock the frame rate, but uh, it, it does have some, some issues with double frames and everything else. So keeping it on V-Sync is nice. And really having the input lag isn't too terrible, although I noticed that maybe it is a little bad this time. It wasn't so bad earlier. Um... It is an Ubisoft Club game, so you do earn points and, and rewards for, for certain achievements. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, my feeling is uh, is good. I'm concerned about the online racing not working, but this is a demo, so I'll give it that. Um, let's go ahead and check it out in the store and see what we've got here. So let's go to the store page. All right, and uh, let's see. Actually, I'm going to shift my display to 1920 1080 over here. I think to make this a little bit bigger. Or can I zoom in? No, of course not. All right, so we'll just go with this. Let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. So we'll go down to 1920 by 1080. Get this a little bit bigger here. Uh, oops. All right, and we'll go back into the store. There we go. So this day, this game is going at uh, forty forty dollars. Now I, the problem I have with this is it's forty dollars. Um, is it worth it? If you're diehard into arcade racing and racers like this, I think absolutely it could be a fun game to play. But $40 is troubling because you can get Forza for like $10 or $15 more, especially when it's on special. Even Forza 7 now is, I think, $59.99, maybe $69.99. So you're talking $20, $30 more, but getting way more game. It does seem limited in maps at the time, at this moment, but there is, um, looks like uh, Trackmania 2 Lagoon coming May 23rd. That was kind of old, but it looks like it's got some DLC. Um, when you go into DLC, though... The problem is that there seems to be uh, a lot of DLC that, that costs some money. Um, but why can't I get to the DLC? Uh, okay, I can I, There, there was some, there was some DLC. I thought, I thought I saw earlier. Uh, my apologies. I, I don't, I don't seem to be able to see it now. Let me see, Track Mania Turbo, we're here at the page. Maybe we look at all these recent updates and maybe there's some DLC. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. Okay, so maybe there's no DLC. There is DLC off ah, for Red Out. That's another game I'm gonna do a review of. Um very interesting game there. Um Anyway, so overall my feeling is $40 is a little bit pricey for a game like this. Uh, I would love to see it at $29.99 or $15.99, $24.99 on special. I think you could probably get a key from another source uh, for, for a pretty good price. Um, this is a great game visually, I think. I love the, the, the environments and textures. Um, the engine one's really, really smooth. Uh, pardon the pun. Uh, I like the international feel of it, um, different languages and announcers and things like that. And music is <laughs> music is great in this game, um, very procedural too. So my feeling is, if you're really diehard into racing games, the physics in this is pretty silly, but 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 right on key to keep it to keep it competitive, especially in a multiplayer environment. Um, a lot of crazy things can happen, so that's kind of fun. Um, you never really know, and then you never know how you're going to win, you know? Um, so that's kind of the element of it. Um, 
I could see there where there's high pace action. Track builder is really cool, and the fact that you can share it. So overall, I think the gameplay and the game is is well well put together. There, there's you know a little bit of chins in it in the interface, but uh, again, it's the demo, so you know the full game could be very very nice. I I, I don't know. Um, so I, I'm thinking I might pick this up uh, just to try it, but you know it is it is a couple years old, but um, very um, or about what March 24, 2016. But I think still very compelling. DirectX 11, nice, not so bad. And um, again, though, forty dollars for a game from you know that long ago. Mm, come on, Ubisoft. Come on, Steam. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I mean, I think twenty nine ninety nine would be a lot more fair, and I'd like to see this on special for nineteen ninety nine. I think at nineteen ninety nine, this would fly off the proverbial shelf. Um, anyway, that's my feelings on this. I uh, hope you enjoyed and got some information out of this. Uh, it uh, certainly was uh, fun for me to do this for you guys. And if you'd like to see more reviews in the future, let me know. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Smash the bell. Don't smash it. I really don't care. I do like everybody and love to have more subs and have you guys there. But if you, you know, whatever, I'm I'm not here to force your hand. I'm just here to entertain and give you some information. You decide what you want to do with your life. Not my issue. Not my problem. Not my issue. Not my prob. Gonna go to the warehouse and polish my knob. That's from the office. Not not me. Anyway, thanks for joining me. It's been a good time. It's a spiky pup saying, peace out maybe? <laughs>